Now, what I have here is an article from WCCF Tech. The original came from Igor's lab, I believe, but I don't have details on the exact modifications. Hopefully, we'll get those over the rest of the week. This was posted on April 11th. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti card is without a doubt the most power-hungry graphics card ever launched. Sipping over 500 watts of power and requiring insanely massive GPU cooling solutions to keep the heat in check. But at the same time, it can be tuned to become an efficiency monster in the high-end graphics card segment. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti has a reference TGP of 450 watts, and most custom models are close to over 500 watts. The graphics card has supplemented such high amounts of power through a new PCIe Gen 5 16 pin connector, which is to accommodate TGP requirements of future graphics cards that would consume up to 600 watts of power. Of course, they're talking about Ada Lovelace here. While the graphics card is a power-hungry beast, it can be tuned to become an efficient monster too, as tested by Igor from Igor, Igor, sorry, Igor's lab, before everybody yells at me in the comments again. The graphics card will be limited to 300 watt power limit, a 37% drop in its TGP rating. This testing was done using the MSI GeForce RTX 3090 Ti Supreme X graphics card which features a 480 watt TGP. It is one of the bulkiest graphics cards ever made. The testing was concluded not only with a reduced power limit but also with an adjusted VR curve which is carried over from the RTX A6000. The RTX A6000 is another card that features a full fat GA102 GPU core but it has reduced core and memory clocks obviously for the data center. For testing, a total of 10 games were tested at 4K resolution. The power-limited GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics card was not only compared to the fully unlocked 3090 Ti, but other NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards too. The results are very interesting. And you can see here, uh, there's some benchmarks here from Igor's lab. You have average frame rates and so on uh, for random titles and what you want to see here of course is the 3090 ti 300 watts coming in above the 6900 xt but still falling short of the 3090 ti the 3090 and the 3080 ti at 4k the nvidia geforce rtx 3090 ti with a power limit of 300 offers almost the same gaming performance as the 3080 Ti while featuring a 50 watt lower limit. The card also ends up a tad bit faster than the AMD RX 6900 XT 2 But these are just the power limits. The actual power consumption is a whole different story. In terms of power consumption, the NVIDIA RTX 3090 Ti consumes 6 watts lower power than the RX 6800 XT while being 16% faster on average. The Radeon RX 6900 XT consumes 50 watt higher power while the 3080 Ti consumes 100 watts of more power. The full 3090 Ti consumes around 150 watts more power while offering just 12% more performance. This makes the 3090 Ti the most valuable high-end graphics card in term of average watts per frame provided to end users. Here is the power consumption charts that you can see if you would like to take a look. And all the way down here, even below the 6800 XT, 313 watts. And then, of course, it scales up from there. Now, enthusiasts don't buy graphics cards such as the 3090 Ti or the 6900 XT to throttle them down from their base specifications. They do so to utilize all the extra juice that they can get out of it. This demonstration isn't a practical use case. Well, it might be, but it does show that NVIDIA and its partners went all out with power and cooling design to extract everything out of the Ampere GA102 GPU core to remain on top of the game. It's good for efficiency demonstrations, but other than that, the testing is only good for demonstration purposes. So from our perspective as cryptocurrency miners, what are we looking to do to capitalize on this? And the key is going to be obviously taking a look at Igor's testing and specifically carrying over the VR curve 
from the RTX A6000. If we can do that, and I don't actually have a 3090 Ti to test, but I'm gonna try this on a 3090. Maybe we can get similar results on the 3090, but it's gonna be kind of interesting. Once again, what are you trying to do here? Reduce the power consumption for mining. This could be a big deal for mining pretty much anything. Let me turn up that light for you guys. Pretty much anything uh, uh, on, the, on the market, right? So Flux, Ethereum, so on. More importantly, it could be a lot better in memory intensive al algorithms such as ET hash. This is some good news. We should be looking into it. This article was written on the 11th. I just caught wind of it now. I don't have a 3090 Ti. I don't know if any of the other cryptocurrency miners have actually tested this, but once again, it's the bringing over the VR curve from the RTX A6000 that seems to be or appears to be the key to unlocking the efficiency of the 3090 Ti and potentially the 3090 as well. We'll try to get to it this week at some point on my 3090s and see where it goes. Of course, they're overheating uh, super bad, so who knows? I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.